developer for CNET here at the Tizen Developer Conference in San Francisco. I'm taking a look at the Tizen TV. Now this is just a prototype to show off the interface that the Tizen Association is working on. And this is all about convergence. So right now we've got a TV behind us and it will communicate with a smartphone, with wearables, possibly even with automotive through the infotainment system. But the main focus here, again, is just to sort of see what the company is up to. The home screen is split into a couple of different parts. All the way over on the left, you have your static navigational buttons for the web browser, live TV, photo, video, music, and apps. And then just to the right of that, they have what is called the dynamic screen. So you can dig a little bit deeper, for example, by selecting the app that you want and opening it up. Right now I'm using a Samsung remote to control the TV, but Wi-Fi is enabled, so you can use a Wi-Fi keyboard for input if you don't want to use the virtual keyboard, which takes a lot longer. You can also use your phone so long as you're on the same access point, and that'll be a little bit quicker when typing things in. Now again, this is just for prototype purposes to show off the interface and the convergence capabilities that you can have on this curved TV that we're seeing. So there's not any hookup to the internet right now. Uh, the only apps are preloaded and the only photos and videos on this particular prototype device have been put here through USB. Once again, I'm Jessica Dalcourt for CNET and this has been a very quick look at the Tizen TV, which is in prototype form.